A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. They make having a beautiful online presence simple and easy with their all-in-one platform, but more on that later. Hello, and welcome back to the Winter Build. I just woke up. It is 8.30 on Saturday. Lou got up at 6 in the morning, and I was so sleepy that he was like, oh, no, no, I'll just wake you up in half an hour. And yes, I went back to bed and enjoyed my Saturday morning. We are going to head to the boat today. It's a little like gross out. I think it's supposed to rain all day, but we have to keep going on this kitchen because it has not had a lot of progress in the last two weeks. And I feel like we got to kickstart this winter build once again. Hi, I'm Dana and that's my husband, Lou. For the past five years, we've been on a mission to live creatively. It all started when we quit our jobs in New York, moved abroad, bought a rusty old van named Odie, fixed him up in the mountains in Spain, drove through most of Europe, wrote a book, sold the van, and bought a sailboat. Our next goal is to circumnavigate the earth in our 1976 Rasmus 35. But first, we need to prepare Penelope for the voyage of a lifetime. So welcome to the Winter Build Series. We're gonna have far less activities today and far more boat building. Um, that's our plan for the next two days is just like try to make a lot of progress. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna meditate work out, take a shower, all very quickly. I don't think I'll do my full meditation of 20 minutes. Just, you know, keep it moving because I slept so much. And yeah, then we will go to the boat. Thank you for driving. Yeah. Hey, there she is. What? Penelope! Look at this. What do you think? Wow. So we're switching up the bottom paint for something that hopefully will be a little more environmentally friendly. And as part of the process, they had to strip all of the old paint. So like 40 years of paint off. Crazy. Look at that. Just the hull. So we're gonna get to work on the kitchen, but I kind of think I need a snack. No, it's nice, right? Snack time. I brought us cookies, hot chocolate, and carrot nice. And these are actually carrot cake cookies. Get excited. Smell that. Cheers. So, Lou, what is the plan? We have two options, I'll let you decide. Okay. So the first option is we can redo the bed. So this is gonna be a bed in here now. Okay. It's like a backup bed, not our main bed. But this plywood is really thin and it kind of like gives when you're lying on it. Yeah. So we wanna switch it out for something that's a little thicker and we have to raise it so that it's flush here so that there's nothing digging into your back. Like this so spot like here. This board has to come up to there. Uh, so that it's like a perfectly flat bed base. Hmm. So that's project number one. Okay. And let me walk you over to project number two. It is in here. We need to make the shelves that are gonna go inside the kitchen pantry. And that'll be like a very time consuming, tedious job because the back of the boat is curved. So we wanna make sure we make each shelf go all the way back, but it's gonna be like a custom cutting job for every single one. And then you can only build it in reverse order because the space is so tight. So it's like once you put, you have to take all of the shelves I've already installed, uninstall them, and then start at the bottom, reinstall one by one with the actual shelf. Okay, Lou, I've decided what I pick. Yeah. I would like to do the kitchen cabinets because that is actually what's gonna make my life so much better. We're probably not gonna sleep on this bed very much, this thing here, it's like before I would keep all of our stuff underneath the cushion where the fridge is now. And so it'd be like a whole process, like take to get to make some rice, you know, it's like take the cushion off, take this out, 
climb under there, whatever, into chaos. And now we're going to have quite a nice system. Right? I feel like it's going to be a total game changer. This weekend is like the quality of life on the boat is just going to be like whoop. <laughs> And then you want me to trace around them? Yeah. It's a good job for a little flexible person. <laughs> That's why you brought me to the boat today. So. The way that like we do this is that I measure out the shelf. It's like an odd shape, you know, one side is longer than the others. And then I transfer all of my measurements onto cardboard. And then we check the cardboard, make sure that that fits, and then we cut the wood. Because if we were trying to do this with the wood, it'd be so much trickier, but the cardboard, since it's flexible, makes the process much easier. <laughs> No. Oh uh, no. That was our last battery. Tragic. Did you bring the charger? No. I think that calls it on today's boat. Work if we don't have any more batteries for the tools. We're kind of done, so. All we have, I guess if we need to sand anything, we do have a sander that we can plug in. Not really. No? No. So what's the plan for tomorrow then? Bring all of our batteries fully charged. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like for the work. Um, well, we just installed the last shelf, and then that's like the main thing we need to get done tomorrow, hopefully. I thought I'd take you up and show you what we've got going on so far. So we actually did get two shelves in, and they look really good. So this is what we've got. We've got these two in. We have another one coming in there that we're working on now. And we decided we're going to do put dividers in, so it'll be like spoons, forks, knives, or whatever, and then we'll put a divider, and then we can have nicer, sharp knives, and then other stuff. I think we're gonna clean up, head home, and yeah, maybe I'll do a little studying. 3.30 is an early day, Lou. Right. <laughs> Having those batteries die is really kind of short. Let's see if you can guess what it is. <laughs> Did you get yourself a neck massager? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's actually a forearm massager. Oh. Yeah, you go like this. All that editing, making your arm sore. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> We're home. Lou's gonna shower. I'm going to uh, get some studying in. I've decided I'm gonna keep going with weather. I'm gonna try to figure out these grib files. We have a lot of learning that we wanna do this winter. And a lot of that has to do with weather and understanding weather routing and how to pick your route across an ocean, when to go, all of that stuff. And so I'm gonna spend some time doing that, make some dinner, have a, another chess game. We've been playing a lot of chess lately. It's been really fun to like, just do a little bit less screen time in the evenings and learn this new game. So that's what I'll probably do. Studying, food, showers, chess and have a nice evening. So we'll see you tomorrow when we're on the boat, um, getting back to work, and hopefully we can get a much bigger day in. So we're back on Penelope, and Lou had a really good idea. He was like, why don't we bring some of the kitchen stuff here so that we can see how it works with the shelves. Whoa, my arms are tired from my workout this morning. Um, but yeah, we, can, we have plates, we have bowls, we have some cans, and we just wanna put them in the shelves and see how our guesstimated height for the shelves works out so let's look at that all right moment of truth <laughs> standard size can no oh yep. really does fit yeah wow Lip. just barely yeah. so if there was a lip on this uh, one, then like yeah if we made a... this is what i was hoping does this fit yeah let's try the other bowls so these are the ones i'm hoping to fit in here Maybe not. Oh, this is amazing. Because before, like all summer, we had them up there in this different section. And it was kind of annoying because when it gets really hot up, the wood swells a little bit. So those slides don't work that well. And so they're just really crammed in there. But I think this is easy. 
keys. Yeah, so maybe this is just like bowls, plates, and Tupperware because we're gonna be using our Tupperware much more because we have a fridge. So that means we can put leftovers in the Tupperware and it's like you want a spot that you can keep them. About to leave, already packing. This is gonna be a real challenge. <laughs> hey. No. Yeah. So that's the top one. And now we have to put the struts in. Uh-huh. And we can also decide on the height. Dude, if you want to change it. Oh, should I get, let me get the tall can. This is the tall can, right? So I definitely don't want it lower than that. This is where it'll be, according to the lines on the wall. Hmm. So I think we really can't afford to put big lips. No. In, just like really big Because it's like, this is what this side has. Yeah. This. Which is nice, because things like don't fall, but I think that it will take up too much space. Yeah. If you put a lip here, mm -hmm. the can can't get in. Unless we raise this one even higher, like. Then but then it's like, what can you get in here? Yeah. I think lower is fine. I think you don't need a lip. It's like the door will stop it. Well, it's just if you're heeled over and you want to open this, everything will slide out. Like on a, and it's like when you're sailing, you could be on a, tack where the boat is tilted this way or sorry this way for like a week and then uh. every time you want to open this when you're cooking everything will fall out how high will the last shelf be so imagine i just got back from the store we are filling the pantry Oh my gosh, even the vinegar bottle can fit on that one. We changed the height of all of them, so this one's more spacious. We cut off some on the top so you have room to get into this cavernous space. Where do the bowls go? They can go on any of them now. This is so cool! What do you think, babe? I absolutely love it. I think this is going to be so useful and practical. We just need to put the lips on the front so that things don't fall when we're healing over because I completely forgot about that. Shows you how much of a land lover I'm becoming. Um, but wow, I am really, really impressed. It's so much more storage than I was expecting. And I think it's gonna be really nice because it's really easy to access. You don't have to move anything. Like you don't have to take any cushions out or move anything. This can be just be like a really useful section of the boat kitchen. But I'm also freezing now. We're gonna take another hot cocoa break. Ah, oh, so nice. It's actually really coming along. Right? Yeah. Big changes, but like so important for like day to day life. Uh -huh. It's gonna be a whole new boat by the time this winter's over. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, this is gonna be one of Dana's first video edits in a very, very long time. So if you leave a ton of really, really nice comments, you will make my life way easier because she will keep editing <laughs> and be empowered. And I know you're gonna do a good job, so. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> I have actually been editing a few videos. They've just been living on our Patreon in a safe space. I've been, I've edited seven videos, I think. Yeah, but this is. This is a different ball game going up on the YouTubes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be like a new thing for 2021. I've thought about it, I'm a little late to New Year's resolutions, but I want to start editing videos. And I think that it's going to be really nice. It's like visual storytelling is quite a skill that this guy has mastered, and I want to join the club. Here, here. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> Thank you. So I think that wraps up our work on the boat today. We got all of them in. Here, Lou's coming right now. <laughs> oh, are we calling it? Yeah, calling it. Our third battery just died anyway, so oh, we can't really? make any more cuts today. Did you finish that last one though? Yeah. You have it? Uh-huh, I have it right here. Okay, sweet. I have another fourth battery in the mail. <laughs> so we'll get to be able to work longer in the future. So this is the last one. It goes here. I feel like we built like blocks 
today. <laughs> right? It was like Lego or something. Yeah. Um, so this is like where we're going to be sitting now. It's a little bit higher. I guess it's technically it's like 5.7 centimeters higher than it was be before. And that's actually going to give us more pantry space below. And then these hardwood edges won't dig into any person who's sleeping on this bed. Or even sometimes sitting here, I feel like it was too much, but it's gonna be nice. I feel like it actually makes us more in line with the fridge if we ever use the fridge as a chair. Mm -hmm. But overall, I would say it was a good day. The main event though that I'm most proud of is definitely where the ice box was. Yeah. That turned out so well, Lou. Right? Yeah. Really cool, I love it. So this place is much better than it was. Still a construction site, but that will be for a while. Shall we head home? I'm mm -hmm. hungry. Me too. Yeah. Are you ready? It's for all the marbles, Lou. Oh, yeah. every time! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm very grateful that building a website with Squarespace is far simpler than learning how to beat Lou in chess. With their easy to use templates, you can quickly build a beautiful website or store so that you can share your story with the world. If you'd like to start your own photography portfolio, online store, or blog, head to squarespace.com slash wildryroam for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So hard to see from the moment.